Hello. In this video I will show you how to download and install Linux CNC and how to configure a MESA Ethernet card on it. Go to this address and download this build. After you finish downloading, go into this address, download Rufus, you can also download the portable version. After that open Rufus, select your device, then select the ISO you need. You can leave the settings as they are, press start, use this one, it will ask for confirmation to delete all the files on your device, if you have something on there, back it up before, press ok. and will burn the image onto the USB device. If you want to play around with Linux CNC Live and keep your settings and files saved, you can use the persistent partition size. The bigger the partition size is, the longer it's going to take to burn to the USB. So take that into account. After it finished, you can close Rufus and switch over to your machine you want to install it on. So um, I will post the link to this guide in the description. Just follow it. I'm going to go through it quickly. right click on the network manager above right click edit connection wired connection edit And just follow the guide. In the IPv4 settings, change to manual and add the address according to the guide. Right here I forgot to change the setting in the routes menu. I will come back to it in a minute. Here I am checking if the device can talk to the computer. This is the only time we'll use the terminal. If it's working, it will show you like this. 
this is the output you, you need to see. If it's not, you will get something like this. Board, no board found. Depends on what board you have. This is the output you want to see. Now we can go and configure the Ethernet MESA card in PNC configuration. But we need to update it for a reason I will show you in a minute. You can see I'm going to create a new configuration. There's machine name, how many axes do you want? If you want five axes, you need to manually edit after you create a configuration. I'm not gonna touch on that. This is the computer response time, as it says. You can check your response time. My response time is very high right now. As you see the max jitter, because I'm using a live CD USB. USB and it's rather slow. This is some of the machine options, panels, not really relevant because we can't do anything. As you can see in this menu, we don't have any Ethernet connections or cards, nothing. We will need to update Linux CNC. before we can continue. We're going to Applications, Settings, Synaptic Package Manager and as you can see we need to change this repository Just type master instead of 2.7, click OK. Now we will download the packages from this repository. Now I I told you I forgot to do something earlier in the network manager. If you connect a card in Ethernet and use Wi-Fi, uh, the computer might try to use the MESA card for Internet, and we don't want that. So I'll show you now how to fix that. In the guide I posted, this is also written and I just forgot to do it and I'm using my memory to find where it is and I found it this is the option you want to take IPv4 settings routes check the little box use this connection OK, save, close, and we're done. Now as you can see, we have version 2.7.14 and the latest version is 2.9 this is the version we want so right click on it, mark for upgrade it's going to show you what's going to be installed and what's going to be upgraded installed is a new new package that we don't have and now we click apply 
again it will show you it's going to change and now it's going to download The download is rather quick. The installation can take a while, a few minutes. I'm going to cut the video so we don't have to watch all of it. Now it is finished. And we can close the Synaptic Package Manager. And we can open the PNC configuration wizard again. Again, create a new configuration, machine name inch or millimeters now the options down below some of them you want to leave, some of them you want to disa disable all depends on what you want to do I like to use move spindle up before tool change and restore joint position after shutdown. It saves your location every time you close Linux and see and open it back up. Your zero location as well on the workpiece. This option you don't want to use. This is the speeds you can use, what kind of GY you want to check. You have all sorts of GUI graphical user interface now this is the VCP panel There's, uh, you can build your own panel or you can use this existing program which doesn't do much but it's nice to see I'm going to leave it there for now. Now, we can choose our card. Let's see. Yes, all the options are there. You can check the 7i76e because that's what I have. You choose your own card and the firmware I have only one firmware available to check from, so we'll leave it at that. In the address, we configure it's going to be 10.10.10.10. .10 .10 .10. So I'm going to use that. Make sure that you have your jumper in the board itself in the right position for it to use this address, otherwise, it's going to use a different address. Now post accepts changes and we we'll go through the connectors. In this uh, screen you define the axis 
I like this one to be the x-axis and choose whatever I like it to be x this one y and the last one is z if you had more axes you could use the other step generator now these connectors are inputs don't really use this I haven't found a use for this screen yet now the last screen is the one we're very interested in we have the TB6 and TB5 those are the inputs and analog inputs and outputs and analog outputs you can use this is where you connect homing switches and other relays for coolant or something in the TB4 you need to go and check the spindle output for it to talk to the spindle the first four outputs if I'm not mistaken are analog outputs so only use from the 4 or the 5th, depends on you want to read it as your limit switches or homing switches and here we can set the steps for the motor and there's a calculator there you can just put in how much your lead screw pitch is metric and inches and the micro stepping and you get a number that is very good you can also use the ruler method but I don't like that I like to use precision calculations and it's generally better This is your motor steps per revolution without any micro stepping. And here is the calculated steps per unit. need to go and do that for all them all the motors and you can invert the motor direction if you see it's going in the wrong direction you can also press the test tune axis and do a test leave all the other settings as is for now after that you can come back and change this is for the homing now if you home the machine the machine has this is where you put the soft limits of the machine according to your homing for now I'm going to leave it at 200 and add 200 to the negative travel let's say you had a homing switch in the middle of the axis the homing uh, position location if it's not on the end of the axis is where you put it all the, all the homing uh, options are grayed out because we didn't select a homing switch for this axis in the input page you also have backlash if you need it and now we're just going to put the number and invert the motor direction because that's on, on my machine that's what I need you might not have to do that on your machine here is the test tuning screen
usually the Z axis doesn't move above its homing. You home it on the top of the axis and it can only go down from there. But for this purpose I did it like this. This is the output voltage for the spindle. Usually uh, spindles are VFD spindles take 0 to 10 vo volt and maybe some spindles use minus 10 to plus 10. I don't know. I don't need it so I'm leaving it at 10 volt and without the minus. So it will only go from 0 to 10. Now this is the max RPM of the spindle. Mine is 24,000, so I'm just going to put that number in. You can also test it if you want. You can invert the motor direction, all these options. And we're done. But we forgot to add the link to the machine. You can open it manually for the Linux CNC menu, but I like to have a link on the desktop. So I'm going to go in and add it, add it now. I'm just going to run for all the screens. Not really something important. Oh, here, I, because I checked the spindle speed display, and uh, also if you will create your own panel and you go and edit your, your configuration again, it will try to replace it or delete it depends on what you use. So you want to check the existing custom program. It's also the same thing for the Glade VCP panel, if you use that. So just make sure you check that option. Now I rushed through all of this because I didn't change anything. If you need to change anything, stay on it. And now, uh, the machine worked, the configuration worked, but <laughs> it didn't like me recording and opening Linux CNC, so it gave me an error, so I cut that out. But it worked. This is how you should do it. Uh, if you want, I will give you some pictures of the machine working, not a recording. But thanks for watching, and if you want to see more, Tell me in the comments.